Hi everyone, I just wanted to go over uh, some tips for finding scholarly academic research to back up any part of your benchmark project. My expectation is that you are referring to studies and white papers and that kind of information that will back up some of the concepts that you're covering in either part of your benchmark project. Um, in some cases it's going to be difficult to find that so don't stress out about this too much but in other cases uh, you should be able to find things if you take the time to dig around. My impression is that uh, some of you maybe not know where to find these resources or have not been expected to do um, this kind of uh, digging around for research in other classes so I thought I would give you a few tips. So um, I often start with Google Scholar to do research. It's scholar.google.com. And you can type in uh, any kind of topic, like uh, you know, educational technology is going to be um, let's do educational technology integration. Um, is going to be pretty broad. The more keywords you add onto this, uh, the better results you will get. And you can also, um, so educational technology integration comes up with almost 4 million results. I'm not going to go through 4 million results, of course, but if I want something that's more current, I can sort those and have just articles that have been written since 2014, which brings me down to almost 400,000 results, which is much better. Uh, I can also go through here and see if there's anything here that would be useful to me. And I can click on the article, and sometimes I can read it for free, other times I can't. But you can probably take the bibliographic information from these articles and go to National Lewis's online library services and find it within National Lewis's resources. Uh, so here's a paper about TPAC. There's the abstract. There, this is a citation, and it looks like I can download the free, the full text. This is not going to be. Oh, actually, this one is. You have to pay for it. So what I would do is, I don't want to pay for it, and you shouldn't have to pay for it either. Is I would take this information here. And I would go to National Lewis's um, Student Services, go down to Library and Learning Support, and um, use some of their research help to find that article within the databases that National Lewis owns. You will probably need to log into National Lewis's Library uh, Services with your portal, uh, you know, ID and password. Um, when I'm on campus, um, my Google Scholar work, you know, if I, if I look up something in Google Scholar, it typically takes me right to the resource um, and doesn't require me to pay for it or anything because National Lewis has, resource, has access to a lot of different databases. But when you're online, you're going to have to be able to log in with your campus information in order to access everything that... Um, National Lewis has online. So that's what I'm looking for. You know, I'm not looking for like 40 of these of white papers that you uh, put into your project, but I'm looking for you to dig a little bit deeper than you normally would uh, for a cursory search and to, to add something, to, add, to put some stuff here that backs up what you're saying. If it's not possible with your topic, that's fine. Talk about that tonight in the webinar. Um, the other thing I want to say with just searches in general, um, there are a couple things that I do. So I was looking for, what was I looking for yesterday? Something for somebody. Uh, technology professional development um, plans. And there are a couple different things you can do to search more effectively. One is... Um, is to put things in quotes. 
And another thing is to add on the file type that you're looking for. So if you know that you're looking for a specific, that you're more likely to find something that's in PDF form than just in the web in general, you can do that. And when you search, um, when you search with that, then you get some a little bit more maybe narrowed down research, you know, resources that you're looking, that that you can use. So. Um, Make sure that you're, and if, if you're not coming up with what you want, um, what you're looking for, you need to like refine your search terms and try some other words until you get what you need. Um, I'd like to see you guys expand. I've given you a ton of resources, and I, I definitely want you to repurpose and reuse them, but I also want you to expand on what's been given to you and show that you can find stuff as well. Uh, this is about synthesizing information and showing what you know, and um, everything's looking really good for the most part, but I'm just trying to give you a few tips here on how to uh, add a little bit more to your projects without taking up too much more time, because I know that we're close to the end. Hang in there. I'll see you tonight, and um, I'm really looking forward to learning more about your projects uh, during our webinar. Thank you.